the Great Wall. I mean, it's not terrible, terrible, but you know, when you see these people's names attached to a movie, you just you expect something a lot better. Also, if you got this many popular actors to wear suits of armor in your movie, maybe I don't know, give them something important to do. Anyway, I have just seen this movie recently, yes, and this is what happens in the first hour or so. All right, starting the movie, you follow two European men who came to China to look for black powder, as they call it. One of them is named William, played by Matt Damon. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know, they get captured and held prisoners by the Chinese border troops, which is an unpleasant thing for both sides because of the language barrier. However, during interrogation, where was this found? And out of all the commons in the history of commons, our genius William comes up with this. You speak English. You know, there's nothing that screams this movie is catered towards American audience more than the way Matt Damon delivers that line. You speak English. Well, it certainly wasn't French. Now, as they're still deciding what to do with William and friend, an urgent report comes. <laughs> It turns out the section of the wall they're defending is being attacked by very unconvincing CG monsters. In a frantic rush, they have to take these two guys with them and prepare for battle. At the top of the wall and being tied up, the two men start to take in the scale of the army, and they just kind of suddenly decide that the audience are colorblind or something. The black are the foot soldiers, and the red, those are the archers, and the blue, they're all women. Thank you. We would have been totally lost without your keen observations. And then we have this. Hmm. Have you ever seen anything like this? Well, no. As someone who has seen more than a few historical dramas and movies from China, I can tell you that I have not seen anything like it during a potentially deadly battle. Unless the goal is to utilize comedy as a diversion tactic to distract the enemy. Anyway, they fight the monsters, hone them off, and William proves himself to be quite a capable archer. Not like this, but good enough not to be thrown behind bars. So the Chinese army let him go and clean himself up. Here, William and his friend meet the character played by Willem Dafoe. He doesn't do much for the story, but as far as entertainment goes, he has some good moments. You smell like animals. What? I am not watching the Green Goblin on a different window just so I can hear that awesome villain voice again. Okay, what are you even talking about? Anyway, so afterwards, the two friends go out to formally greet the army commanders, clean shaven, so you can finally tell which one is William because you definitely can't rely on their personalities for that at this point, or ever. Now, after a little demonstration, William earns some trust and intrigue from the Chinese commanders. One of them takes special interest in him, and they kind of bond over lunch or whatever. Who taught you English? Because this type of interactions were totally allowed in imperialistic time. Then she invites him back to the、uh, the battle area of the wall, explaining to him why that dance was necessary, and then encouraging him to take a dive like she did earlier on. William, understandably, doesn't want to. I think you're afraid. 信任，信任 means trust. A man must learn to trust before he can be trusted. Ah,、uh, you ask a guy you just met this morning to jump the height of the Great Wall, and you think he has trust issues because he hesitates? I mean, at least wait until your second lunch date or something. Anyway, we still have the、uh, the CG monsters to deal with, so they all come up with an idea: using a sleeping drug to capture one of those monsters to study it and come up with a better strategy. It's a frightening business, of course, when it's almost time for the monsters to attack again, and some of the soldiers are a little nervous, which leads to probably the best emotional struggle in this movie. Don't go to the hall, Fangzhi. Don't say something. Yes, and you know what? Given everything that's been going on out here so far, I think I prefer to be in the kitchen too. <laughs>